today was civilized. <laughs> I actually got to sleep in a little bit today. And, uh, yes, but I'm happy to see so many familiar faces here who did that marathon, that three-day marathon, and you're still here, ready to go to the finish line. Okay, uh, a little different tonight, right? We, we've left traditional noir way behind. Uh, and now we're moving into uh, things that are much more violent and much more foul-mouthed. I'm just warning you if you haven't seen uh, this movie before. Um, I am uh, one of the guys who's on the advisory council of the Film Noir Foundation is Dennis Lehane, who is a very successful uh, novelist. He's written uh, crime fiction and historical uh, fiction. And Dennis is one of those guys that has the minus touch. You know, he writes Mystic River, Clint Eastwood turns into a big hit. He writes Shutter Island, Martin Scorsese makes it, you know. Well, yeah, that new Ben Affleck movie didn't do so good. <laughs> so, uh, but Dennis, uh, this, is, this is Dennis Lehane's favorite modern noir film. And we've had conversations about this movie and why we find it to be so uh, incredible. And if you have seen this movie before, you know that this features an extraordinary performance by Ben Kingsley. Uh, you will never see him as Gandhi again when you, <laughs> when you watch this movie. Um, and also fabulous performances by Ray Winstone in the, in the lead role and Ian McShane. Uh, I mean, it wasn't enough that the guys who wrote this movie, um, in an original screenplay, that they had one of the scariest psychopaths in the history of movies. They had to have two in the same movie. So Ben Kingsley and Ian McShane are both just absolutely terrifying in this movie. And, and Dennis commented to me, uh, you know, he said, the thing about modern film noir is that in America, the guys who are doing this stuff, they're having fun with it. You know, they're like paying homage to the old films and they're you know, basically they're doing like a Quentin Tarantino kind of thing, and everybody's like, don't take this too seriously, we're just having a good time. The British do it a little differently, right? I mean, as Dennis says, these are absolutely positively the last people you would ever want to meet in your life, okay? And it is genuinely scary. And what's astounding about this movie to me because um, someone asked me in the lobby, like, is it really a film noir? Do you think it's a film noir? And in truth, I actually think it's a love story. Uh, you, you laugh, but tell me I'm wrong when the movie is over, right? Because love is about conquering everything because you love somebody so much, right? That's like the ultimate love story. And I'll be damned if... At the end, that's not what Sexy Beast is actually about. So yes, it has two of the scariest psychopaths ever, but tell me afterwards if this isn't a movie that's actually a love story. Uh, it is directed by a man named Jonathan Glazer, who was a, as you will no doubt recognize, was a music video director uh, before he made his debut with this film. And I think this is one of the most uh, inventively directed films of modern times. I mean, it really is incredible. Um, you saw it back in The Killing, you saw that the other night, how Stanley Cooper kind of broke the linear narrative up. Well, Jonathan Glazer does very much the same thing in this movie, and you're not quite certain where you are at times, but it all fits together quite brilliantly. And it's a very, very imaginative film. So that's how we're going to start off tonight. I wish this movie had subtitles. Even though they are speaking English, you're going to struggle at times with these accents. Like, what the hell are these guys saying? The bad language will come through loud and clear. Trust me. <laughs> the rest of it, you're going to wonder. I'm not quite sure I understood that line. Okay, lastly, I brought those out because I wanted to remember to tell you that we are doing another donation drive for the Film Noir Foundation. If this is maybe your first night here in Noir City. Uh, this is all done through the auspices of the Film Noir Foundation. All the money we make at Noir City goes to rescuing and restoring lost or damaged films. And so if you donate at our table out there with the fabulous Darl Sparks, uh, you will be entered in a drawing, and those people will win uh, either uh, our Blu-ray version of our Restoration of Woman on the Run, 
our Blu-ray version of the restoration of Too Late for Tears, or the book Gun Crazy, The Origin of American Outlaw Cinema, written by yours truly, uh, about that film, The Fabulous Gun Crazy from 1950. So those are the three prizes we're doing tonight. Three, right, Darl, or is it just two? Three. Okay, excellent. Okay, enough out of me. 82 minutes, I think it is. Fasten your seatbelts. Here comes Sexy Beast.